All right, ladies and gentlemen, it seems the cooler I get, the more angry and militant my hackers become. So I wanted to go live about two hours ago, but I couldn't because, as you can see, this thing failed to initialize video. Your GPU may not be supported, or your graphic drivers may need to be updated. And I haven't done anything different to my computer. I've been able to go live before. <clears throat> but like I was saying, I don't know, man. My hackers have been really angry and emotionally turbulent the last few days. Which reminds me to remind you guys that this is the part of the season where it's going to be a war between those of us who love the holidays, who love Thanksgiving, who love Christmas, who love good friends, who love to have good family, who love and are appreciative of all the great things in life, versus the people who hate the holidays and who hate the people who love the holidays. So the bastards are going to do every single th thing they can to drag you down. Don't let them. <clears throat> oh, no, don't. Okay? Because remember, miserable people do miserable things. So be cool. It is a hallmark and a staple of Asteroid Fight Club. Plus, shit is so unhinged, who knows how much longer we have civilization. You know what I'm saying? If we keep letting the bastards win, we will then become bastards. We don't want that. Now, shit is crazy. How crazy is it? Well, in the mid-60s, when NASA took a picture of Venus, it looked just like Earth. But that is neither here nor there. Let's go over here to this FB3 model run. And as I have been talking to you guys about the crazy rain band shapes and sizes for three straight years now, we will, I will let this run as I light my cigarette. Be sure and smoke them if you got them. Yeah, those are giant, man. Massive, mega, monolithic. And so, we got a big storm rolling through New York City right now. And everybody's kind of freaking out. Like, oh my God, there was a giant storm. This storm has really messed up traffic. Now remember, our infrastructure has not really been built for people to have good access to good transportation. It's been built to keep you in traffic with your car idling and burning gas, wasting your time and spending your money just so it's a petrodollar, man. Taylor Swift went into a thing on how much time on her Swift, Swift on security account and how much gas is spent while your car is idling. It, literally, technology should have a thing to where your engine shuts off and your car stops and then restarts when you start again to save money and gas. But saving money and gas has never been part of the economy. Because, yeah, we are in a disaster economy now where the consumer is also the consumed, where corporations are trying to figure out how much money they can make off your death. So that's where we're at. And my position at Thor News over the last six years has been Politicians are here to distract you from the weird weather changes. And I was saying that shit six years ago, and guess what? I am still saying it today. And of all the people that have been pushing information for six years, me telling you that the weather's going to get weirder seems mildly genius. And I'm still on point. The weather is getting weirder. Latest on Winter Storm Avery. Eight dead. <sighs> and gridlock across Northeast. Well... Yeah, things are fucky all over. It's just fuckery here and there. But if you want another straight shooter, I recommend you read Cranky Weather Guy's blog. He will fill you in on the jet weirding and everything going on weird with the weather. Another Asteroid Fight Club member, at least in spirit, Alex Parker. What's your office fridge cake defense strategy? That's a good question. Bee Bears. Would you rather get attacked by bears or bees? Well, since I have a weakness for a good honeypot, I'm going to go with bees. Sometimes I raise everyone's game. And I just want to lay in a big bed with Selena Gomez, M Emma Watson, Taylor Swift, Rosario Dawson, Katya Porsikansky, Amelia Clark, while smoking weed, drinking beer, and talking about Brexit, trans-Neptunian objects in Stanley City. Is that really too much to ask? All right. Hey, y'all, we should ignore the weather wildness for a long time. 
for as long as possible and just argue about politics and discuss how evil men are for telling women to smile. This is a public service announcement asking men, please don't tell women to smile. You know, if there's one thing I learned at Thor News, it's that there is no greater egregious than saying that shit. I don't even try, I don't even talk to women anymore, man. I'm scared that everything a man does is offensive and will hurt them for the rest of their lives. So I just stay in my little foxhole trying to give you guys the weather information. Coast getting hammered with high winds, expanding into New England coastline shortly. Sustained winds in knots analyzed at 0 to Z. Yep, it's windy because somehow the low pressure system keeps deepening as it dips over that little cove part. Kendra Gloom is my beat, Pierre Luis. Things I've learned covering disasters from a scientific sociological perspective and not on the ground. Fires are weird. Hey, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is direct energy weapons. There's a lot of strange shit coming out. And I want to remind you guys. My stance is always try not to react to something. Give it a few days. Collect as much information as I can and then try and figure out something. For example, like if a big story breaks, you don't see me rushing to put out a video going, hey guys, this big story about Planet X broke or whatever. I wait, I collect information, then I put out a good video. And so... Yeah, whatever's going on with the West Coast fires, there are a lot of anomalous, very weird things. I may have been wrong, but it's a whole nother thing. If we are getting hit by direct energy weapons, having your president blame the forest management service once you got hit by a direct energy weapon, that means that's some gangster shit, bro. That would mean that, oh my God, our president is part of the deep state. So, you know, I don't know. Going down rabbit holes ain't always fun. Like I was saying, this is the six Eric Fisher. This is the, oh yeah. And once again, big mood. My advice to women, smile more. As Machiavelli reminds us, do not let your enemies know what absolute cruelty you are capable of until it is too late. That's probably written by my sister. But yeah, dude, you know, apparently melting in a fire or dying in a hurricane is nowhere near as horrible as when a man tells you to smile. It's just, it's, you know, it's hard being a woman in America these days. Nobody is more abused and just treated horribly than our American women. It, you know, shit. Has society not done anything right? You fucking men! Uh, okay. <laughs> Weather optics. Heavy snow continues to affect most of southern New England tonight. Oh, and I just want to say, did you know that 85% of firefighters are male? And 69% of firefighters are volunteer. So I know that, like, bashing men has been an Olympic sport for the last four years. But I gotta say, there are some really, really, really great guys out there, including myself. Though none of us are perfect. Except that there's, like, five people out there going, Shut your face! Donald Trump is perfect! You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, and here's a politician going, hey, transportation and transit are the lifeblood of our city. Inches of snow have crippled NYC, and this is unacceptable. Moms are stranded with their kids. People are running out of gas. This is unacceptable. We demand answers. And it's Representative Adriano Espalieta. And I'm like, look, dude, hadn't you been here the last two years? People elected you because you had the answers. Everybody was like, hey, all we got to do is vote. So, to have you say we need answers, you know, you're supposed to have them, buddy. Nothing quite like watching a snowstorm ramp up on the East Coast. That's true. Why is that gift not working? Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's all, like, dude, I got to, I've been covering this for six years and all year, every day. So, I got to maintain a sense of humor, even though shit is really fucked up and do me. Wait, what? Breaking. Officials say a staggering 631 people remain unaccounted for after the deadly campfire in Northern California. Death toll climbs to 63. Well, you know, and for people who are surprised, it's like, did you not pay attention during Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico? Our government was like, 60 people died, 60 people died. And then they were like, no, like three to 5,000 people died. And the government's like, oh, we're bad at math when it comes to the public. You know? 
And who can talk about that now when Jim Acosta accosted a woman and that one Hispanic lady wore a suit that is basic or not basic. I don't know, dude. Political, you know, two days after everybody talked about politics for two years, it's gotten really gossipy the last few days, which is kind of cute. All right. And I'm a screenwriter, so most of my um, tweets are fictional. Just, you know, I'm going to put them in a fictional novel someday. All right, I think I've exhausted all my good thingies there. I'm already 10 minutes. to I talk about anything? But yeah, dude, the weather is weird. Everything is weird. The energy is weird. Your face is weird, but really cute in a cute way. Yeah, the sun has still got a giant kernel hole on it. You see that? We're still at Corona Hole Land, man. Still at Corona Hole Land. See, at this point, we might be dealing with demons and angels and double, double deep states and artificial intelligence that hates humans and just, and Mother Nature freaking out and the sun freaking out and everybody freaking out. I don't know, I'm handling it okay. Ever since Jupiter entered Sagittarius, I've been happy almost all week. For no reason. It's really weird, but I like it. All my hackers are like, oh, we're going to destroy you. I'm like, okay, cool. You guys don't, though. It seemed like a giant waste of energy. A waste of time. So, yeah, this big storm will move out, and then we got a Thanksgiving storm moving in. And all the planets are still on the same side of the sun. Although Venus is taking the lead, technically they're not all on the same side of the sun. But I think it's the gas giants that matter the most. And so Venus, which has been retrograde, now stations and is about to go direct, but Mercury is about to go retrograde. So things are just crazy all over. So just try and stay cool, man. You know what I'm saying? It's what I do, and it seems to be working for me so far. But yeah, it's still a little bit wild and a little bit wacky. Now let's look at this. Oh, and then plus here. I was watching this earlier, and it made me feel like I was on drugs. They should invent a drug that makes you feel good. Somebody will say, it's marijuana. But hey, dude, it's Planetary Defense Commander. Doesn't matter how much weed I smoke or drink. It still feels like 2018. So I quit drinking. I haven't drank in like a month and a half. I don't think. I definitely haven't left the house in like a month and a half. Other than to go buy smokes. Same cigarette. It just keeps going out. So yeah, look at these crazy ass rain bands, man. They are wild. And they're just getting huge. Like thousands and thousands of miles long. It looks like Spain's going to get hit with the hurricane. Maybe it's not a hurricane. Maybe it's a El Huracano. Or whatever. I don't speak Latin. Did you see that giant? It splits, but... I'm going to freeze frame that for you. Because I like to give you as much production value as possible. And I'd be, be able to give you guys more production value if I didn't have hackers fucking with my shit all the time. But it's a compliment, man. It's like even people in this truth community. There are a couple, one or two channels who sure as hell don't like me. And they want to be the best. Well, that's fine. But the whole key is the people uniting. So being a dick douchebag is not going to get you to the, to, the, to the big win. The only way we win is if we unite. Not treat the situation where people are dying like fucking American Idol. Like your parents must have totally fucked up. Man, if you are one of these people who is trying to fuck up my game so you can be like the best observer out there. Or so you can push grand solar minimum bumper stickers? Then your parents fucked up and you fucked up. And that means you're just a fuck up. But we can all have redemption now, can't we? Yes, we can. Anyway, this has been a spirited and interesting fun for me anyways. Look at the weather. And yeah, we got a Thanksgiving storm coming through. Spiritually emotionally and severe weatherly plus you got like five or six little low pressure zones that pop out here which is some of the weirdest shit i've ever seen on this thing 
Well, I'll let it play again. But it is true. And if you do love my style and all the information that I bring you or just support really cool people who still have a sense of humor in 2018, I would appreciate any and all donations to my PayPal link, which I'll leave linked in the information box. I think I got like a $55 bill due in a day or two for my editing program that I use to make all the super badass videos. Um, oh yeah, and I recorded 30 minutes for Bernard Starr. That one should be pretty good. I like talking about Planet X. It's way less doomy than the weather. My, how times change. So look, it's like 30 minutes, I'm, but I'm going to edit it. Because I like, you know, the edited ones are fun. Okay, and it's my six-year anniversary in a week. So definitely I expect my hackers and perturbers to do what they can to make sure I don't get to enjoy my six-year anniversary. You know, it's weird. I pretty much had a date almost every year on my anniversaries. Although last year I was with my family. It was last year I could spend with my stepdad for Thanksgiving. But somehow the universe wants to keep the streak up of me having good company around my six-year anniversary. That would be fantastic. And I think I've earned it. I've done what I can to do a good job and be cool and be honest. Yeah, sure, sometimes I'm a little arrogant, but it's pretty much my only reward is pat myself on the back going, man, you did a great job. Man, you did a great job. Like, you know, I talked to, I've been talking about these rain bands for three years, going, it's going to cause major problems. And it has been. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. But let's do what we can to enjoy the holidays. I love you guys. Seriously, I do. I thank you for letting me do this every day because I love it. And I love you guys. And... I still have wild optimism for the future. I have no idea why. It might be because I'm crazy. But if it is the end of the world, it would probably be better to enjoy it anyways. But I don't think it is. But damn, shit is crazy. Okay, everybody stay cool. I will talk to you in the near future. Probably when I settle down.